Hello everybody, today we are here to witness the streaming of my Space Music Composition Zero, linked with a mallet streamation from the International Space Station. I am Dr. Leonardo Barilaro, the Space Pianist, and today I am very happy to be here in this virtual room with Professor Joseph Borg, which is the uh, mastermind behind uh, the Mallet program and also behind the uh, uh, Mallet Tremission. Uh, Mr. Roberto Tisch, which is uh, the, director, the director for aviation and aerospace engineering uh, at MCAST. Miss Veronica Botti, which represents uh, space application services uh, and uh, she's uh, the uh, system engineer in charge uh, of uh, uh, following uh, the integration test for uh, uh, Mallet Remission, and uh, Miss Anotopia Giordano, which is uh, the artist that uh, created uh, the beautiful artwork uh, that uh, is uh, uh, representing the concept of Zero. Before uh, spending a few words about Zero and uh, this adventure of uh, space music, um, I'm uh, very happy uh, now to uh, give uh, the start to Professor Joseph to tell uh, to the control room uh, to connect with the International Space Station and uh, listen uh, to uh, the space music composition. Professor Borg, the stage is yours. Grazie, Leonardo. Thank you, Leonardo, for the, the say, kind words. Uh, indeed, this is Malet 3, so it is the third mission in a row. Uh, as part of a space bioscience project that we are doing at the University of Malta, as part of a PhD program of Christine Gatt and many other students who also benefit from this research. And also there is a group behind it called Space Omics Group, and part of which are now uh, positioned in Ormi, where there is the connectivity or a, a mini mission control uh, room where we connect with the cube uh, and we can upload and download data and also uh, to watch over the experiment that is uh, taking place. As you know, I am a strong believer uh, of uh, arts and sciences and, and music also. So besides, besides the biomedical science that takes place inside the cube, inside the experiment, there is also digital space. And with the digital space, we can include messages or artwork or music and this we can send or beam back down to earth to send a message to, to show uh, to show clearly how space is accessible for everyone and, and with with uh, pleasure uh, i can say that that there is artwork as part of music composition zero and also a piano uh, musical a composition by yourself, Leonardo, which is right now orbiting uh, around uh, Earth uh, above uh, 450 kilometers above Earth. And we will stream uh, this music uh, when you tell us to go ahead. So I am not sure whether okay. we're, we're talking. With... Yes, now I will say let's uh, proceed with the streaming. And after this, uh, we can have uh, a small chat.
this was uh, zero. I am uh, really, really proud uh, of um, having witnessed uh, this moment uh, because, uh, of course, for me, it represents a lot uh, as an uh, aerospace engineer and uh, musician pursuing uh, the concept of space music. I'm uh, truly grateful uh, to Pro Professor uh, Borg for uh, being the initiator of this uh, magic adventure, which is uh, Mallet program. And uh, just a few words uh, from my side, and after I will uh, leave uh, the stage uh, to the other guests. I'm uh, really happy with this because um, I believe that uh, uh, art, and uh, in this particular case, uh, music, is uh, a uh, very powerful channel that can bring uh, people together and overcome uh, barriers. And above all, in uh, this new space era that uh, humanity is witnessing, uh, in my opinion, the wider public we are able to reach, uh, the bigger are the possibilities, not only to inspire, but also to strive uh, to uh, push for the best uh, in what is uh, in uh, human society. Because uh, usually we focus on uh, what is uh, bad, but uh, there is uh, luckily also a lot of good. And an example is the fact that the Mallet program is uh, a, a Maltese mission that uh, is uh, um, studying uh, uh, patient uh, suffering from uh, diabetes and uh, Professor Borgia will uh, give uh, a better overview about this since it's not my field. We've already an impact uh, in our society and also these studies uh, are useful for uh, future astronauts and also here uh, Professor Borgia will uh, explain uh, better. So as uh, um, oh, and uh, other two words, uh, why zero? The title uh, zero is uh, because uh, it uh, has a root uh, in the concept of uh, the number that uh, changed uh, literally human society and not only the world of uh, mathematics. It is the concept of cipher, a sort uh, of code to be uh, broken to understand a message. And uh, it builds up uh, on uh, the previous uh, composition of mine that was on board the Mallet 2 last August and was uh, streamed uh, also that one from the International Space Station. And uh, the concept is of the astronaut that uh, with Mallet 2 was uh, uh, leaving the safe harbor Mallet that is Malta but also our planet Earth. And now this uh, astronaut uh, is... Uh, um, traveling uh, to new dimensions and this is uh, also represented uh, in uh, the beautiful artwork uh, done by Anna Utopia Giordano and uh, she will uh, uh, briefly present it uh, later on. Last thing, uh, there is a lot of work by many people. Here you see just uh, a, a small sample but uh, there is a huge team behind it uh, and uh, countless hours of uh, work of different professionals, a lot of dreams, uh, uh, hard work by literally many people. In my case, uh, I want to dedicate this uh, little uh, personal success of mine to my sweet wife, Oslam, that is always uh, supporting me. And uh, I believe that uh, having already one person that uh, truly believes in you changes a lot uh, and uh, can uh, make us uh, humans uh, to do, uh, to reach really huge steps uh, in life. Now, my suggestion is uh, we start from uh, Veronica, we go to Anna, uh, Roberto, and uh, closing remarks from uh, Joseph, if uh, for you is okay. Okay, perfect. So, dear Veronica, the stage is yours. Well, uh, hello everyone. Uh, first of all, it's a pleasure to talk to you, and uh, thank you, Leonardo, for inviting me to this uh, to this event. I'm very happy to speak uh, about this mission, and uh, you know, to present also what we do as space application services. This uh, <clears throat> this was a really interesting mission uh, uh, in general, but also for me, um, it gave me the opportunity to work. Uh, on something new and uh, also, you know, indeed uh, to be part of this, uh, you know, to, to have this uh, artistic uh, part uh, added to it, uh, which is also important for me too. I am also, or at least I was kind of a musician also as well 
in the past. So I understand the importance uh, and the connection between music and also science in general. Um, from I was mainly responsible for the technical part uh, of the experiment and for the interface test, uh, which means uh, that uh, and also you know to serve the support uh, of the mission uh, you know and the contact uh, with the agencies, which is a big part of our job. And uh, yeah, what can I say? So at the end, everything worked well, and uh, we are very happy for that. Um, I don't know if uh, you would like to know something in specific. No, I want to just uh, to thank you in uh, public, uh, since uh, we are streaming and uh, many people uh, are uh, watching and will see this, uh, this broadcast. I want uh, to thank you and also to thank um, engineer uh, Maurici because uh, the experience uh, with uh, the integration tests uh, in uh, Brussels at the Space Application Services was amazing. Uh, but it was also very demanding uh, and uh, we spent uh, literally a huge number of hours in the lab. So your, uh, your support was uh, really, really changed uh, everything and also from a human point of view made uh, everything uh, even more enjoyable. So uh, I wanted to give credit uh, to you uh, online in public. Well, thanks a lot. I mean, uh, too nice. <laughs> It was a pleasure, actually. It was really, and it was really nice for me to work on this. Okay. So, thank you, Veronica. Uh, now I will leave uh, the word to um, Anutopia Giordano. Hi, hello. hello. Um, I am very glad of this collaboration as Leonardo Music gave me the opportunity to rethink some concepts that uh, derive from my philosophical background and also. Um, from a moment of life with my dad, I created this, uh, this illustration with uh, artificial intelligence, the text to image tool. And um, I, you know, it, it is not so easy to obtain something similar to what you have in mind with this tool. So uh, I asked the AI to generate many images using my prompt, and then I combined some images together, and I digitally post-produced them. Um, from the figurative point of view, um, it is not so simple to explain exactly the meaning uh, of my illustration, um, but uh, um, I could talk for a long time about the conceptual basis, um, the Russell paradox and the uh, Georg Cantor and a lot of philosophical um, concepts, but um, I prefer to say that it represents, as I said before, a moment of life with my dad. I was a little girl. And one morning, my father asked me, what is the nothing? Can you imagine it? <laughs> well, if you try to imagine the nothing, you instantly imagine something which certainly is no more than nothing. And uh, I, I had maybe four years old, uh, years old and uh, it was mind blowing uh, because uh, uh, it is a strange oxymoric concept, uh, you know, and uh, I think that this concept fit perfectly into the zero, into the concept of zip of zero, and uh, this image try to reproduce uh, this 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 precise concept. Um, I I would like to to thank everyone involved, uh, Joseph and also Leonardo, and uh, and. Uh, and everyone who made this possible. It was a great, great opportunity. So thank you so much. So thank you to you, Anna. Also in your case uh, is a big thank you because of the behind the scenes was me and you till uh, 2, 3 a.m. with iterations of the artwork, working on the music. So there is also a lot of work behind the scenes and behind the final results. So uh, what uh, Professor Borgia represents uh, is uh, that uh, the results, uh, and uh, one result that uh, Joseph will mention later is uh, the astronaut uh, presenting from the International Space Station uh, the project, uh, is only the very tip of uh, the iceberg uh, represented by the huge work of uh, several, uh, several people. So talking about uh, huge work, uh, now Roberto, the stage is yours. Good afternoon. 
Thank you very much. It's amazing to see, uh, I mean, to see a great team like yours so working together and achieve uh, what was achieved, in my opinion. It was as well for me, I mean, even when Leonardo introduced me to collaboration with uh, with Professor Borge, I mean, I always like the idea because I like to see people working together. I, I always believe in team from when, from when I start to work. So it was amazing to see this uh, great teamwork, I would say. And uh, it was great for us as well to have the opportunity to work uh, together and not uh, in competition, but work together with the, as well with the pro Professor Borch, which works for University of Malta. At the end, we are two, the two major educational institutes here in Malta, so it's nice to see cooperate together, to synergize together. And uh, I'm honest, I'm really I I thank you for for uh, for what 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 was done, and uh, I thank everyone. I mean, participate to to this. I mean, uh, I don't have other things to add, but definitely for me, it was very nice to see uh, to see this working and uh, to the way that uh, do it as well. I, I like to see as well the interaction between you. I mean, that was uh, was amazing, amazing for me to be honest with you. So thank you very much, Roberto. And uh, this is uh, interesting because of thanks uh, to Art, uh, Joseph and I got in contact for Mallet 2 and with Mallet 3, is uh, the first step for uh, MCAST uh, in uh, taking part uh, in uh, a very important uh, space mission. So it is uh, a real life proof of uh, how art and uh, uh, science are strictly connected. And uh, I'm uh, proud to pursue this uh, vision in my life. Zero will be published on Spotify, all main music digital platforms uh, this Friday. And the video clip recorded at Pianos Mine in Brussels will be uh, online next uh, Tuesday. And Pianos Mine was uh, uh, really a, an amazing uh, supporter because uh, they sponsored the recording of the uh, MySpace piano composition and also allowed me to record the video clip in their beautiful uh, concert hall. So, provided this uh, big overview, I would like you, Joseph, uh, to give some teasers uh, for the public uh, also about what uh, is coming next. And uh, if you like, uh, mention better uh, uh, the video of the astronaut, Sultan Al Neyadi. Thank you, uh, Leonardo, and thank you all the other speakers, Veronica, Anna, and Roberto. I think I, think I, I echo the sentiments of everyone and what they said, I reiterate again. Uh, it would be interesting, uh, Leonardo, to also mention how did this all start between myself, University of Malta, and yourself being at MCAST. So I recall very vividly when I was still immersed and working in the first uh, Mallet mission, Mallet 1, 2021. And I just happened to browse and see on social media some of your posts. Uh, Leonardo, about impact and space debris research. But there was also one keyword or, or two keywords, which was written space pianist. So I said, mm, what, what is this space pianist? And then I saw that you compose music and you play music also with an idea or a dimension to send your music to space. And then I said, I said, you know, let me let me just reach out and ask Leonardo, like you are a space pianist. Do you want to send piano music to space? Of course, probably a large portion of people would think this is something silly or crazy or maybe it's not true. But the reality is that we were building a small mission. We were sending it to the space station. We have a lot of space available to put in not just science, which is very important but to also put messages or contributions. So in Mallet 1, we had asked for many contributions of many schools and children. Mallet 2, there was a lot of artwork, and Leonardo had sent his first musical piece. And now in Mallet 3, I'm very happy to see that uh, Leonardo is keeping up the momentum. And of course, Mallet 3 is much bigger than just the individual projects. So Mala 3 also contains now, it continues the research on diabetes type 2 and what we call as microbiome, which is the collection of bacteria 
that reside on human skin and foot ulcers of patients. And we also have collaboration from patients with diabetes from Saudi Arabia, from Jeddah. So we have this international collaboration. So we speak about local collaboration, uh, University of Malta, MCAST, and other companies, and also foreign and international collaboration. And for me, for me, it is very important to see that local collaborations take place, because how could I, how could I go out of Malta and talk about collaboration and international cooperation if internally I am not able to succeed or do this type of cooperation? So, so I think all in all, this worked really well, as Veronica mentioned, a lot of work. Here I have to, there are many, many people, so I cannot mention them all. But one in particular is Christina Gatt, who's the PhD student doing the science and the biomedical science in this project. Uh, and also, yes, as Leonardo mentioned at the end, uh, the, the Emirati astronaut, Sultan Al Nayadi. So just today, uh, th there was published a video in English and Arabic for a minute and a half long, and he discusses and talks about Mala 3, about international cooperation and the importance of doing life science research on Earth, but also in space. Because in space, there are these interesting and important uh, conditions like microgravity, high solar radiation, and it gives, it gives an edge, a competitive advantage to study better life sciences. And the results, we can apply them back to Earth applications, which ultimately it is of benefit to anyone else living on Earth and not necessarily being strong believers of space or space missions or all things that have to do out of this world. But ultimately, the benefit goes down uh, back to Earth. So thank you, Leonardo, for thank hosting you. this session. If I, I may add uh, one thing, uh, you mentioned that your uh, PhD student, uh, Miss uh, Gatta, that she was also following the integration test. And um, as a senior lecturer in aerospace engineering at MCAST, uh, um, one important thing to highlight uh, is uh, the interest that uh, was created in students of all levels, but uh, uh, in our case, uh, of course, uh, uh, above all for the students of uh, the master in aerospace engineering. And uh, in my opinion, these are very important seats uh, for uh, the next uh, uh, academic years, uh, for uh, the next uh, intake of students, because uh, students doing now a master, a PhD, are, uh, will be very soon uh, the new professionals uh, working in the field and uh, expanding uh, the capacity in Malta, but above all of international collaborations, because uh, Malta is uh, one piece in this uh, big uh, mosaic uh, that uh, sees the participation of uh, space application services, uh, the uh, Mohammed bin Rashid uh, Space Center. So uh, space uh, gives uh, a very important message uh, about uh, uh, really how to collaborate uh, between humans. And uh, dear judges, do you want to just tease the event of the 27th uh, April for uh, our public? Yes, and so, and so it also gives me uh, great uh, pleasure to announce that this month on the 27th of April, so there will be a special evening, a special event. There will be Hilde Stenuit from Space Application Services and Ice Cubes from Belgium coming to Malta to talk about Mallet and other international uh, cooperation uh, experiments. There will be Wasim Ahmed from MetaVisionaries, uh, and together with him, he will be accompanied by Jim Green. So Jim Green was a former chief scientist for NASA, and he was working with NASA for more than 40 years. So he will be with us here. And the most interesting part is that this is a free a public event. It will take place at the University of Malta in Gateway. So I encourage all the people who are listening to this uh, small uh, broadcast to, to seek out uh, this this opportunity and maybe register or come by to to, to university uh, on the 27th. It will start at 6 p.m. Uh, and of course, there will also be uh, Leonardo and myself and other uh, speakers who will talk in this event. So this will be our way to give back, to showcase to the public what we have been doing the past years, 
and what we intend to do more. I think it's very important. Okay, so thank you very much, Joseph, and also thank you for uh, your invitation. It's, all, it's an honor for me to take part in this event. Um, I will talk uh, about space debris and uh, what we are doing uh, also at, EMAC, at EMACAST. I really want to thank uh, uh, every one of you being here today, and uh, I think uh, uh, we are uh, showcasing uh, that uh, truly beautiful things uh, can be done also without... Uh, uh, incredibly huge uh, uh, budget because uh, in the past uh, space uh, was a privilege for very few players. Nowadays uh, things uh, changed a lot uh, above only the last 10-15 years. So we are very lucky of course uh, but it's also the proof that uh, space is becoming uh, more and more accessible. So this is uh, the final remark uh, I want uh, to tell. So Thank you very much and see you up there.